Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking of a mobile device in order to be used with a different carrier than originally sold it. By default, most mobile devices these days are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used with the original carrier or the original network, and they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier or different network. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and this device is originally from Sprint here in the U.S., and as we'll be able to see, this is a device that has not yet been SIM unlocked from Sprint because we have a different carrier SIM card inserted here, and we have messages telling us to contact Sprint to unlock the device and also telling us that it is an invalid SIM card that we have inserted. Now, Sprint will do the SIM unlock for anyone who meets their requirements, but their requirements, like most other carriers, are going to be that you be the original owner of the device, that it be fully paid off and out of contract, and also that you usually have service with them for a specific number of days or months before they will do that for you. So we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us to assist them with this specific service on this specific model, usually either because they themselves wanted to change away from Sprint before they were eligible for Sprint to do the unlock for them, or because they purchased the device from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the phone was still locked. They claimed or they advertised that the device was already unlocked or already eligible to be unlocked via the carrier, and then it turns out that the seller was dishonest, and then obviously the person that bought it was not able to have any way to get it done. So we are making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get this device SIM unlocked without having to go through Sprint and meet all of the requirements. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer, and it's actually something that we're doing right here, right now, just so you can visually see the actual before and after proving that we can indeed do it. The great thing about this process is that it's something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world, so you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect directly to your computer right through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right here right now. Our unlock program is just about finished running up here. It needs just about another minute or so to run through and finish all of the remaining steps. So I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward the rest of the video here so we can try to keep this as short as possible. I'm going to fast forward the rest of the process to the end, and then you guys will be able to see the final results once we pop our test SIM card back in there. So just hold on for a second here. All right, there we go. The program has finished doing its thing. We just have to wait for it to restart once more here. And then after popping our test SIM card back in, we should be able to see that it does indeed register and work without us getting any of those Sprint error messages. Okay, so we should be all loaded back up. I'm going to go ahead and swipe away the lock screen and then go ahead and pop that SIM card back in. So then on the lock screen here, we will notice that instead of that invalid SIM card message there, we do not have that anymore. And then up in the corner, it does indeed show that we are registered on Cricut. That's the SIM card that we have inserted here, and they are a prepaid provider here in the U.S. that runs on AT&T's network. If I swipe away that lock screen there, we'll also notice, notice that we do not have that message at the bottom telling us to contact Sprint to unlock the device. And then we have another message here stating that our SIM card has been changed and the device is going to automatically apply some settings to work specifically with that SIM card. If I go ahead and jump into the settings here, we can show you exactly what we got going on. So if we go under status, the SIM card status there, we can indeed see that we are registered on Cricut and we have our mobile network state connected. We've got our LTE set up and everything is all set to go. 
I should also mention that this is something that can be done for the regular Note 20 as well, as they're essentially the same device. Obviously, the regular one just has a little bit smaller screen and smaller battery. So if you have a Note 20 or a Note 20 Ultra that's originally from Sprint and would like help getting it SIM unlocked, we can definitely get that done for you. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy along the way. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.